Chapter 4. What Came Down the Chimney. Changes now, son. on TV, this dude hypnotized a lobster. Maybe you saw it. He touches a lobster and it freezes. It can't move. That's sort of what happened to me. Like I'm paralyzed and my head is empty and nothing matters. Not grim and grim or freak or the stars in the sky. They're all just make-believe. This dream I was having for a long time. And now, I'm awake again. And he's there. And for some reason, I'm thinking this weird thought. He doesn't need a suit of armor. Well, let me look at you. It's like looking at an old picture of myself. Christmas Eve. <laughs> Christmas Eve. What them letters I sent you? What them birthday presents and Christmas presents? Bet you never got one of them, did you? Oh, they poisoned your mind against me. I know that. Get down. Sir, you and me, we're gonna have time of our lives, boy. <laughs> Something going on? Good evening, Mrs. Pennyman. We're here to inform you that Kenneth Kane did not report to his parole officer yesterday in Cleveland. He's been missing you wait here. 24 hours. He's considered in violation of his parole. No. No, that can't happen. No. We don't want to alarm you, ma'am. No. Just as a precaution. He's gone. Chapter 5. The shortest night of the year.
Queen of Saxony, Iggy, and your daddy did some time together up there in Langford, you know? They go way back. I got an old bunny of mine lives up here. He's gonna take care of us. Pose me a favor. It ain't much. Uh, old bat that lived here went to visit her sister for the holidays. You wouldn't lie down on me now, would you, boy? No, sir. No. It's good. Because we got to talk. Man to man. See, this is only a temporary thing. Just for one night. Tomorrow we're going to get on the road. Just you and me. Where it ought to be. There's something you need to know about your daddy. I never killed nobody. I loved your mother. I never harmed her. That one golden curl on her head. I swear. You understand what I'm telling you? Yes, sir. need to discuss it no more. Kevin? 